Hey, welcome to R2, a channel for those wanting to sell their art online. We have so many resources at our disposal as artists in the present day that artists in the past did not. I thought I'd share with everyone several apps I use on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis as an artist. Some of them, or perhaps all of them, may already be in use by you. But I thought I'd share the flow of some of the apps and what I do with them so you guys can be inspired to use some of these apps for your creative print-on-demand designs that you upload on a daily or weekly basis to some of your favorite print-on-demand websites. These apps do not necessarily appear in any particular order. So let's start with the first one. A fantastic graphic design app is Canva and it's a really great app because you can use it either through your web browser if you don't have a very powerful computer or you can download the app for iOS or through Google Play and you can use it on your mobile device. Uh, it may be used to make announcements, posters, artwork and much more. Canva is mostly used by me to create thumbnail graphics for these YouTube videos, Instagram reels and other video graphics that I uh, come up with for my channel or for other projects that I'm working with. So I'm constantly in and out of Canva creating different projects and I find that it's one of the best programs that I've invested in. I actually have a pro account and I find that because I have that pro account I'm able to do a bunch of things that aren't available with the free uh, version of Canva. So the pro account does give you the uh, ability to uh, remove backgrounds for an example which is one of the things that I really need for some of the projects that I'm working on. So I really like that feature and there's a few other things that uh, you get such as uh, more detailed elements, uh, photos and uh, other things that you can use for your projects that aren't available for the free version. So that's why a paid version of Canva is worth it for somebody who goes in and does a lot of projects uh, because you do have all these additional things that you get with the paid subscription to Canva. I don't frequently utilize it to produce designs that I would sell. Nevertheless, there have been a few designs that I've created using Canva and sold. I tend to use Canva for typography designs and it's ideal for this sort of design work if you enjoy creating typography designs. Canva is easy and fun to work with. It's incredibly user friendly, provides excellent templates and makes it simple to post your own material. If you'd like to try Canva, there is a link to a free Canva Pro trial in the description box below. So check that out if you haven't already subscribed to Canva or want to try the Pro account and see some of those elements and additional features that you get with the Pro account without having to pay for it. So sharing my artwork on various social media network sites has nearly become standard practice for myself as an artist who sells through print on demand. I utilize websites and apps like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, and a few others. On my mobile device, I have each of these apps making it simple for me to upload a narrative, a message, or a picture of the project I'm working on. Since starting my print-on-demand business, I found that social media is an extremely effective way to promote my designs and business. By using social media platforms, I'm able to reach a large number of people at once and share the latest designs and updates with my followers. Additionally, by using social media platforms, I'm able to connect with potential customers and collaborate with other designers. Overall, social media is an extremely useful way for me to promote my business and reach a large audience. And I find that having these apps conveniently located on my phone makes it so easy for me to be able to be uh, creative and to share some of the things that I'm doing online. Finding a color scheme that works can take some effort, but using an app or website that compiles the greatest palettes can work wonders for your creativity. Knowing which color go well together saves me a lot of time while designing because I don't have to waste time choosing colors. So these color wheels and uh, knowing palettes and what colors work together is definitely something that as an artist or a designer you should be looking into if you aren't already because it will save you a large amount of time not having to try to figure out what colors work well together. By having this in front of you, you can start your project off knowing that certain colors work well together and how to incorporate that into your design. I didn't actually utilize a color wheel for a very long time. As I've learned more, I've used color wheels more and more. It's simple to print out a color wheel to hang in your workspace, but some programs let you do more and experiment with various shades and tints of the colors you're using. I frequently just use the internet to look up uh, color wheels, but there are several excellent free apps available. Plus they give you the code so that you can put into your favorite graphic program instead of having to pick the color manually. You can just drop in the number related to that particular color and come up with exactly that color for your project. Sketchbook is a sketching paint and illustration application for a variety of devices and one of the programs that I use a lot. I downloaded it for free on my Android tablet and I use it mostly uh, now on my computer to be honest but sketchbook has numerous functions that allow me to incorporate multiple layers in my designs I do some digital art with sketchbook but I mostly use sketchbook to draft my ideas and sketches and come out with uh, an idea of the things that I'm working on 
so that I can either incorporate it into a different format. Sketchbook is also available for free for various devices, so it's worth downloading and having a copy on hand to play with and experimenting with. I've also been using a lot of free photo editing apps to fix and edit my pictures for my print-on-demand business. Now, these apps have really helped me improve my images and they made it much easier for me to get great pictures and I can upload to various print-on-demand platforms quickly. Now the thing with these programs, I don't have any particular favorite. There are so many that you can play with when you go into the app store and download. Some of them require subscriptions to get more features, but if you play around with them, you'll find one that meets your needs and you can uh, decide if you want to pay for that program. Or if you uh, want to use free programs to edit your photos, you already have a couple of uh, programs installed on your iPhone or Android phone. So the basic photo editing function that comes with your phone is uh, a pretty good starting point for a lot of people who want to work on their photos while on mobile devices. GIMP is another program that I use for photo editing and design work. It's an acronym for GNU, Image Manipulation Program, and it's a free software image editor with capabilities similar to those of Adobe Photoshop. It's available for Windows, Mac, OS 10, and also for the Linux uh, operating system. So GIMP is used mainly by graphic designers, photographers, and anyone else who needs to edit digital images. And it's uh, free. So basically, if you don't have the money to invest in a Photoshop subscription, then you can get GIMP for free and use this program. And I've mentioned this uh, program quite a bit on this channel because I think it's underrated and it's a great program to get people started when they're uh, low on funds to purchase some of the more expensive programs and GIMP has done such a great the people who put GIMP together have done such a great job at offering a free program that it's definitely worth checking out if you don't have a photo editing program on the level of Photoshop and want something free. It's uh, easy to use and has a large user base so you can find a lot of tutorials online and get some idea of how to use GIMP just like you would with Photoshop. There are so many graphic design programs that you can get for free. This really changes the game for artists looking for tools to create their work. It's really helped with new designs and ideas that I've come up with. There are a few programs that you need to purchase, but most of them you can get for free. This means that if you're looking to improve your graphic design skills, there are a lot of options available to you. In conclusion, there are so many free apps and software for artists that can help you come up with more designs to upload to print on demand platforms. The best way to learn is to download apps and experiment with them. They can help artists make more money from their artwork, so you can decide which ones you want to pay for and which ones you uh, prefer just having a free version of a program that maybe does a few features or a few functions here and there. And uh, then you can decide if uh, your business is growing, if you should invest in paid software or subscription software uh, in the future. If you enjoyed today's video and have not already subscribed, do it now so you know when the next video is uploaded. And if you hit the like button, that really helps this channel a lot. So keep working on your art and we'll see you guys in the next one.